Hi, this is Micah Williamson from CloudPoint Geographics. Today we're going to show you ArcGIS Web App Builder on Mac OS X. You can either go to this website or you can Google it, and, and that's what I did in order to find it. But the point is, you still have to download it. So on this website, you can download the zip file. It requires you to log in with your developer credentials, and then you will start downloading the package for ArcGIS Web App Developer edition. And once that's download, I'm going to open it up and unzip it. While that's unzipping, one of the requirements that it has is Node.js. So I want to go to nodejs.org and download the most current version. And that is an application that I need to install on Mac OS X. So get the package file and run it. Install Node.js. Node.js just runs in the background and is only called when terminal calls it. Terminal is like your command line in Windows. So you can see, speaking of command line, in the folder that is unzipped from Esri's website, the startup.bat, which is worthless to us, but it runs on Windows. So we are going to try to recreate that startup.bat. This is the call that it makes. I'm going to change the directory using terminal into the download folder in the web app builder for ArcGIS folder and then into the server folder. Once that goes, you can see I'm in that folder, then I'm going to run node and call that server.js, which is sitting in that folder. And you can see it's running. Uh, it's running just like it would in command line. In fact, I can actually go to, in my browser, go to my local machine, my computer name, which is montana.local3344 web app builder. And you can see that uh, when I hit that, that's actually running and it's calling my application, but it, I don't have the app ID. So the app ID is the, an ID from ArcGIS Online. Getting an app ID from ArcGIS Online is a very well documented process. I'm not going to take the time right now to go through and uh, step by step on how to get an app ID from ArcGIS Online or Web App Builder. It's the same process as you would if you were on a Windows environment, but you have to register an app and then you have to get the app ID. That's the entire point of what we're doing is to get an app ID in order for us to run Web App Builder Developers Edition on OS X. Okay? And when I hit register, there's my app ID. That's what I want. And that's again, that's a very well documented process. I approve it. And then you can see I'm running Web App Builder in Safari on OS X, which is great. Uh, everything works the same, uh, widgets work the same, and it still runs in terminal. You can see that that's still running, all right? Uh, so that's fantastic. However, let's automate this process because if I close terminal and then try to do something else like save or create another application, you can kind of see things that start to break. If I hit edit, there's a problem if I create a new, there's kind of a new problem. You know, it just things don't show up because Node isn't running in the background, so it's not working properly, all right? And in fact, if I, I'm going to go through and refresh and go back to Map Builder, it can't find it, all right? So uh, that's the problem. Uh, Node has to run. So in order for us to go back into uh, to run Node, we'd have to retype all that change directory to the download folder and all of that stuff. And that's just kind of a time waster. That's why Esri gave Windows users a bat file. So why um, we don't have a bat file as OS X users. So what I've done or what I want to do is use uh, Automator to create an application. If you haven't ever used Automator, it's easy and it's very nice and it's very intuitive. Here's Automator. I'm going to create an application, all right? So I choose application and hit choose, and then I'm creating an, a .app. The action that I'm going to use is uh, run an Apple script. An Apple script is much like a command line uh, script that can run. So my script goes there, and I've got a nice piece of code that I'm going to paste in here because it's too complicated. To be honest with you, I Googled it to find it. So. This is the same process to open terminal, to activate terminal, and do this command. And I'm going to type in that change directory to the downloads folder, and then web app builder for ArcGIS online, or for ArcGIS slash server, and then uh, 
a new line, uh, which you use n, and then node, which is the calling of node.js, uh, node.js, and then server.js to call that JavaScript. And I'm going to create a delay of five seconds because it does that so quick, it doesn't give it a chance to run before it opens the website. Let me hit run on this. Okay, I'm sorry, I have to um, end the tell and then end the run is already there. All right, so that's what the script is. I'll put that script in the notes as well. Uh, now, if I hit run, you can see that that command terminal opens up and node runs. So it's running, and I can actually go to a web browser and pull open uh, the uh, web app builder application. If I just hit refresh, it runs. It's great, wonderful. So that's running. So let's automate it, that opening of the website. So I'm going to close this. And I'm going to add another section to our app, another automated task to open a URL. So if I add the URL, and um, I'm going to remove that one. I don't want to open up apple.com. So I'm going to hit remove and hit add. And that's um, not what I want. And I didn't want to paste that. That was a problem. Let me go back to my URL on another screen and get that web app builder URL and add my application and hit paste so it opens that web app builder URL. And the last piece of our application is to actually open the specified URLs that are specified in this section. So I'm going to go up to the search tab on Automator and type in open and then it will actually display web pages as a last step of the specified URLs. So we just specify the URL and then it displays the URL in Safari. All right. So that's the application as it is. I'm going to hit save and then uh, we're going to actually double click on the application. Save and then double click the applications on my desktop. Um, and it runs the terminal. And after five seconds, it'll actually open up uh, Safari. Um, it looks like actually I have a problem here because I had unfortunately had two URLs. Let me go back to Automator here. See that runs. I'm going to go back to Automator. And yep, I see the second URL there is actually highlighted. So let me go into that, close this. And I'm actually going to delete that empty URL, remove that. And go back up in Automator up to save uh, and we'll be able to run this application. I've already got it saved on my desktop and close this. Double click the untitled.app and it will open terminal and shoot off our script and then it'll open Safari and we see Web App Builder for ArcGIS running on Safari in Mac OS X, all automated just with a double click on that app. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. You can post questions in the comments.